One day after former NFL player Kellen Winslow II was found guilty of three charges, including rape, the jury deadlocked on eight other charges. News 8's Kelly Hussedal is live at the Vista Courthouse with what happens next in this case. Kelly? Yeah, Carla and Barbara Lee, the jury made up of eight men and four women were deadlocked on those remaining charges. Now, just so we're clear, the verdicts from yesterday still stand. Uh, the big question now is whether or not the district attorney's office is going to choose to retry Winslow II on the remaining counts. I now declare a mistrial and I will discharge the jury from further service in this case. A mistrial in the Kellen Winslow the second case. The jury reached a verdict on four counts but could not reach verdicts on the remaining eight, including two counts of rape. The jury foreman told the judge they voted numerous times. Is it your <clears throat> considered judgment that the jury is hopelessly deadlocked? Yes. The jury was polled on their votes for the remaining charges. Here's the breakdown. The jury voted 7-5 to five in favor of guilty for the kidnapping and forcible rape of Jane Doe 1, a 54-year-old hitchhiker. The jury voted 10-2 to two in favor of guilty for the forcible rape of Jane Doe 4, the woman who says Winslow II attacked her when they were teenagers. The jury voted 8-4 to four in favor of guilty for the rape of an unconscious person regarding that same victim. The jury voted 10 to 2 in favor of guilty regarding misdemeanor counts of elder abuse and elder battery regarding Jane Doe 5. Mom, Deputy District Attorney Dan Owens. They very nearly did reach a unanimous verdict as it related to multiple uh, forcible sex crimes. He says the district attorney's office will now decide whether or not to retry the case. It would be premature to comment on that at this time. Defense attorney Mark Carlos says another trial could end the same way. I think that any time the case gets tried again, it's going to be the same situation. It's going to be the same facts, and there's always, I think you're never going to get 12 people to, to agree on that. Meanwhile, Kellen Winslow Sr. left the courthouse today with no comment. Defense attorneys were asked about his son's reaction and his family's reaction to yesterday's verdict. He was shocked. He was shocked by that verdict. They're upset, of course, disappointed by, the, by that outcome. So as for sentencing for those uh, guilty uh, verdicts, uh, that, that's all still on hold for now. Now, we do have another hearing coming up on Friday, and that is where we do expect uh, we will hear whether or not the district attorney's office chooses to retry this case. I did reach out to them again uh, late this afternoon, but they told me a decision has not yet been made.